earlier on in the morning. St. George is going to play um, Fasil Kedema. Well, that's Gugsha making a big run on the left side. Good cut back into the area. Goalkeeper is off his line. Matosi was off his line, but it's just been cleared from the goal line. Well, talk about a very quick attack coming from the Fasil Kedema side. And a big run from Guksha Shimekit. Tenachu will take it. Directly towards goal again. Oh, and Matasi has lost that. it. It's been converted into a goal. Well, capitalizing on the blunder by the goalkeeper to put the ball in the net. Fasil Kereba take the lead here. Matasi will blame himself for not having held that family. Yes. And uh, who's also the brother of uh, Cheridet Guksa. They are in the same team in uh, the Walaita side. And then the older of them siblings is on this other side. Here is a header! <laughs> and well done away from the goalkeeper who's uh, facing one side. Mujib, the defender turned striker, puts the ball in the net past the goalkeeper, Saeed Abtabu and rises the fans to their feet to celebrate this one. Kasim with another chance to be a top scorer here, puts it in the net this time round and sends a goalkeeper on the wrong side. He's the first player in the Ethiopian Premier League to have a hat trick where he will go home with a match day ball. Oh, oh, good play. Wow. Yeah, pass it. Good play, can bring it back to the right to break it, Guksa. Who now plays it again to the right and there's space on that right side very cut just needed a touch on this it's mujib he's on target again yep young kimene says that's the way to do it and what was mujib doing there he's just beating time he knows exactly where to be there's joy all round in the way this is being played begins to work who comes from that uh, fossil side is watching this intently Mujib Kasim uh, with a hanging header and almost putting it in the net uh, oh the coach likes it but it goes directly into the Beninua goalkeeper's hands but uh, Mujib Kasim very well placed the cross coming in right onto his head on target and uh, Oh, this is going to be a penalty for sure. The player is facing the goal area and uh, is deemed to have been denied a goal scoring opportunity. Will be the man to see whether or not he's able to catch that one. Mujib has put it in the net. He makes Siom Kebede a very happy man. That Hadia also are going for the early goals in this game. That's a good ball to Mujib. He stayed on line. He stayed on side. Goes on the left foot, but then pumps it over. Yeah, he knows. He, need, he wanted to chip it. He wanted to send it onto the far side of the goalkeeper. But That's he's got a very tight angle to be able to do that. Very here, good run. Look at that eye contact. And he knows that the, goal and the defender is going to stop. And the goal. And uh, when Guksa doesn't get there on time, you are most likely to find Surafel in that area as well. This is to Mujib. And he's been put on side. Tries to place it as well. No power in that one. An easy take for Dereje Alemu. I think he had two minds. He had two minds whether to take a shot or to bring a cross. Look at that pass in the midfield. Absolute defender. And then a good one for Mujib. He's got the goalkeeper alone. He way lays him. Mujib puts it in the net. After a long wait of 79 minutes, heading to the 80th minute. He is in between the two central defenders. And look at that this run, well timed. He's been put off on side by Sinde, who was way up out. there. The goalkeeper has been rounded way late as well. But Sinde stayed too far off. That miss gives a chance to uh, Kasim forces the other defenders to close in too late because he's got only one other touch and he puts it in the net. It's a a two-touch man. A mark of a striker. Yes. You spoke about uh, a vulture. He waited <laughs> and waited and waited for the right moment. I only say the vulture is a patient uh, bad. Yes, they yeah. do. They have reason. The ball actually changed. It did the, change direction. direction. Yeah. And the hands are not in a natural position. Yeah.
And Mujib gets a good ball. He gets it back. He's in prime position as well. A quick shot coming off his left foot and a wrong clearance by the defender. The goalkeeper now organizes himself. It's a ball that came from the midfield. And uh, everybody's on side at this moment. The control by Mujib is nice and he gets it to Berkhead Dester on the left side. He tries on the left foot. Uh, then the goalkeeper brings it back. An awful clearance there. That would have resulted into something more. That's him keeping his balance and putting the through ball. Mujib also gets to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper is injured. Yeah, there was a big bang on the goalkeeper. The referee will stop play. But uh, Jamal Tassel does the right thing, cuts off uh, Mujib, uh, Mujib's, uh, you know, angle and uh, makes it a very difficult angle for him. Third touch, he decides to go down on the right side and a left foot shot that almost beats the goalkeeper here. Mujib sends him in the wrong side, puts the ball in the net, perfect touch here. He doesn't usually look like he's doing much in the game, but he has caught another goal here. He's caught a crucial goal that flowed everybody in uh, the challenges that he's making. Nothing doing in that one. An obvious one. Oh, the goalkeeper has gone off his line. This one is in the net. Talk about Mujib just taking advantage of the mistake of the goalkeeper. And we've said it before that goalkeepers make mistakes and they get punished in this league. What looked like just a little bit of uh, an uncomfortable situation for defense turns out to an extent. Uh, and then um, Salotelo tries to bring it back into the midfield. Guxa gets it to Kassim. Is that the first touch? He's going to have a second one. Now you know he's going to have to pass it. Doesn't like to dilly dally around with it. Now goes for a shot. He puts it in the net. <laughs> oh, that's a touch of class. And Mujib Kasiba has probably provided the best moment of the game so far by scoring in added time. And with a punch shot from the outside, he's removed his jersey and he's celebrating. He's going to be yellow carded, of course, for uh, that descent, but it will not take the celebration away from him. Like they've overwhelmed the Ethiopia Buna side in terms of creating the chances up at the front and limiting uh, the way that uh, the Buna side will go out. Mujib, uh, he's onside, he's put it in, clinical finish from Mujib Kasima. One of the highest scorers in the league. Uh, and he sparks off a celebration at uh, the Bardar International Stadium. And that's what Desta should be doing as well when he has the balls in that area. Mujib simply has one touch and the second touch. But uh, I think there was a handball earlier on. Well, I think just because the dam is not complaining, it just shows you that there was a scene of crime. Mujib has put it in the net. Uh, calmly, almost overconfidently, beats uh, Daniel Teshome to score his 10th goal of the Ethiopian Premier League resumption. The uh, Fikadu, here is uh, Mujib again. He sends the goalkeeper on the wrong side. And Mujib Kasib with another goal in the 74th minute. So they scored two goals in two minutes. Mujib scores two penalties. In